6 in the morning. I got up mega early just to get the sunset for you guys. I hope it looks good. haven't done the typical tourist stuff. It's her last day in Bangkok, so we're finally gonna go see the Buddha and the Grand Palace. Let's go. Got the morning supplies. We're gonna take the metro to the train station and then to the, take the Uber from there. After Can Palette, yeah. you know King's Palette. After Royal Bar Museum, I come back. After you. So 20 baht? How much? 20 and 20. No, you said 10, 10. <laughs> <laughs> you said. <laughs> By boat, you feed it. You He's trying to convince us to take the boat instead of the Foot, Uber. You know Footing Market today? No. It's not the same boat. No, yeah, only private boat. Now, you know private boat, you know what I stand? No, not private, not private. No, no private. They don't have normal boat, like uh, regular ferry, boat. Ferry, ferry. First he was saying ferry boat, but then he said... Then he says like private boat and that. Uh, I didn't understand half of it, but it seemed way too complicated. Screw that, we're taking the Uber. Hello. Everything so smooth with the Uber. Perfect. 100 baht tickets, which is like three, four dollars. Not too bad. That's what they eat on you. Let's see what we paid for. about scams in Thailand and again we were walking to the Grand Palace we're there right now and here's what happened we were walking and this guy he stops us and he says like I'm tourist police and he points at Alex and he says hey you 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 have shorts you're not gonna get into the Grand Palace today especially it's a special day and you can only get there after three Come with me into Tuk Tuk and we'll and we'll show you the other palaces and everything and then bring you back here at three. You know, like I'm gonna arrange everything for you, trust us. And it seemed very believable, honestly. He had like a little badge. He had like a badge and very official and a map. Until he was like, oh by the way, like you like suits? You want a suit maybe also? It was like ah uh, suspicious. And now we made it to the palace and there's like actually big speakers all around and it says like attention please. The palace is open every day. Do not trust anybody trying to delay your visit, blah, blah, blah. Do not trust anyone around the palace who tries to delay or delay your visit. Sure, Don't trust anybody here. These crowds is just terrible. It's way too busy and crowded here. I think we're gonna get out of here. I'll watch, I'll just look at a picture of the Buddha. Way too complicated, way too many people like, I'm getting claustrophobic. Let's get out of here. We've already seen a beautiful temple today. That's enough touristy stuff. We made it out of that crowded place. Now, okay, I'll be honest. I was really disappointed when we didn't make it to that airplane graveyard thing. So this time we're gonna try again, but we're gonna take the ferry. And hopefully this time we get it. 
Come on, when, when is the luck gonna turn on this, Bangkok? Please. We found it, we finally made it. See what perseverance gets you? Perseverance. Glad we made a second attempt. But oh, but God, is it hot in the cockpit here! <sighs> Time for an airplane selfie. I found the perfect setting for my next video clip. I should be in the Romanian boys band. Queen number three. Maybe earlier in the morning before it gets too hot in the cockpits. It, it was just terrible in there, like a sauna. I read conflicting reports on the internet about the price of entry that the people that live here ask of you. I've read 100 baht, I've read 800. We got charged 200 baht each. In the end, it's like about $8 Canadian right now. So it's really not so bad. And I think the price just varies depending on how broken or hungry they are. Because these people, they don't have much money and they actually live here. In the, they're squat, squatting the place. That's enough adventures for today. Good night.